In an industry filled with glitz and glamour, the actress rose to fame through her talent and determination. Born Frances Rose Shore on February 29, 1916, in Tennessee, she would eventually become a household name. The actress began her journey in the world of entertainment as a singer, performing on radio shows and releasing records. However, it was her transition to acting that truly solidified her place in Hollywood history. Throughout her career, the actress starred in numerous films and television shows, showcasing her versatility and range as an actress. She became known for her bright smile, infectious personality, and undeniable talent. Some of her most notable roles include Belle of the Yukon, Tady Mason, and The Bluebird, as well as her own television show, The Dinah Shore Chevy Show. She won several awards for her performances, including an Emmy and a Golden Globe. But the actress was not just a talented performer. She was also a trailblazer and a philanthropist. She was one of the first women to host her own television show and use her platform to promote women's rights and civil rights. She was also a passionate advocate for children's education and health care. Despite facing personal and professional challenges throughout her life, the actress remained a beloved figure in Hollywood until her passing on February 24, 1994. Her legacy continues to live on through her numerous contributions to the entertainment industry and her philanthropic efforts. Actress Dinah Shore was a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, known for her work in film, television, and music. She began her career in the 1940s and quickly became a household name. Shore won several awards throughout her career, including multiple Emmys. One of Shore's most defining roles was in the classic TV show Dinah Shore Chevy Show, which aired from 1956 to 1963. She also had a successful singing career with hits like Blues in the Night and I'll Walk Alone. Do you have a favorite Dinah Shore performance or song? Perhaps you're fascinated by a lesser known fact about her life or career. We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. There are many surprising and interesting stories about Dinah Shore that you might not know. For example, did you know that she was a talented golfer and even hosted her own golf tournament? Or that she was good friends with President John F. Kennedy? Throughout her life and career, Dinah Shore left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and on those who knew her. So, whether you're a longtime fan or just discovering her work, there's always something new to learn and appreciate about this legendary actress. So, keep watching to learn more about Dinah Shore's funny, shocking, and sad facts. And don't forget to share your own memories and stories in the comments below. Initially, the actress grew up in a southern family where music was a significant part of her home life. Her parents encouraged her singing from a young age, which led her to pursue music education. She was influenced by the popular music of the time and the burgeoning jazz scene. Teachers and local musicians in her hometown nurtured her talent, providing her with opportunities to perform and grow as an artist. This early exposure laid the foundation for her future career in entertainment, where she would eventually shine on both the radio and the silver screen. The actress's path was shaped by these formative experiences, which instilled in her a love for performance and a dedication to her craft that would last a lifetime. The actress, known for her vibrant personality, left an indelible mark on the film industry during her era and beyond. She began her career in the 1940s, gracing the silver screen with her charm and wit. Her performances were not only captivating, but also resonated with audiences, making her a household name. In addition to her work in film, the actress was also a popular television personality. She hosted her own show, which became a staple in American households for many years. Through her show, she showcased her versatility as an entertainer, interviewing celebrities, singing, and even cooking. The actress was also a trailblazer for women in the industry. She was one of the first women to host her own show and pave the way for future generations of female entertainers. Her impact transcended beyond just entertainment as she used her platform to advocate for various social issues. Moreover, the actress was a talented singer, releasing several albums throughout her career. Her music was well received, and she even won several awards for her singing. Her contributions to the entertainment industry were not limited to just acting and singing. She also left her mark in the world of advertising. She became the face of several popular brands, further solidifying her status as a cultural icon. In conclusion, the actress was a multi-talented individual who left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. 
Her contributions to film, television, music, and advertising have resonated with audiences for generations. She will always be remembered as a trailblazer and a true entertainer. Ever since the actress was a young girl, she had a deep love for singing and performing. She would often put on shows for her family and friends, much to their delight. This passion for entertaining led her to pursue a career in show business. In 1939, while attending Vanderbilt University, the actress was discovered by a talent scout from Metro Goldwyn Mayer Studios. She was offered a contract and soon moved to Hollywood to begin her film career. One pivotal moment in the actress's journey came when she was cast in her first leading role in the film Belle of the Yukon. Her performance was well received, and she quickly became a popular actress in Hollywood. Despite her success in films, the actress never lost her love for music. She continued to record albums and perform on television and radio throughout her career. Her talent and charisma shone through in everything she did, making her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. The actress's passion for performing was evident in every role she played and every song she sang. She once said, I've always believed that if you put in the work, the results will come. And indeed, her dedication and hard work paid off, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences to this day. The actress had a lifelong passion for painting and cookbooks. Her love for cooking and art was well known among her friends and family. She found solace in painting and cooking, often spending hours in the kitchen trying out new recipes or in her studio creating beautiful pieces of art. In addition to her passion for painting and cookbooks, the actress had three grandchildren by Melissa, Jennifer, Adam, and Alexander. She loved spending time with her grandchildren and often shared her cooking and painting skills with them. Interestingly, the actress had contracted polio at 18 months of age. However, through years of physical therapy, she was able to recover fully and was left with only a raised arch on one foot. Her enforced athletic therapy at a young age is what led to a lifelong love of athletics. She was often seen playing tennis or golf, and her competitive spirit was well known in the film industry. Despite her physical challenges, she never let it deter her from pursuing her passions and living life to the fullest. The actress, Dinah Shore, faced numerous obstacles in her early career. Born in 1916, she grew up during a time of financial hardship and industry skepticism. Despite these challenges, she remained resilient and found creative solutions to overcome them. Financial struggles were a significant hurdle for the actress. During the Great Depression, her family faced economic hardship and she had to work to support herself. However, she never let her financial situation deter her from pursuing her dreams. She took on various jobs, including working as a singer and a model to make ends meet. In addition to financial struggles, the actress also faced industry skepticism. When she first started out in the entertainment industry, she encountered many people who doubted her abilities. Despite this, she remained determined and continued to work hard. She took acting classes and worked on her craft, perfecting her skills and building her confidence. The actress's resilience and determination paid off. She eventually landed her first film role in 1940, and her career took off from there. She went on to become a successful actress, singer, and television personality, appearing in numerous films and television shows throughout her career. In overcoming these obstacles, the actress demonstrated a remarkable ability to adapt and innovate. She found creative solutions to the challenges she faced, using her talents and determination to build a successful career in the entertainment industry. Her story is a testament to the power of resilience and the importance of perseverance in the face of adversity. The actress was known for her love of golf and her significant contribution to the sport. She played a crucial role in starting one of the first big money professional golf tournaments for women, which provided a platform for female golfers to showcase their skills and earn substantial prizes. Living in a one-story house in Mission Hills Country Club, located in Rancho Mirage, California, the actress was also good friends with her neighbors, including Donald Donovan and Geraldine Donovan. Her home became the center of social gatherings, where she and her neighbors would enjoy each other's company and engage in various activities. When the actress passed away, her ex-husband, George Montgomery, and her two children were by her side. Their presence provided comfort and support during her final moments, highlighting the strong bond they shared as a family. 
The actress's legacy continues to inspire and influence the world of golf and entertainment, leaving a lasting impact on those who knew her and the many who admired her from afar. Throughout her career, the actress experienced several significant moments that shaped her path in the entertainment industry. One such moment was her transition from singing to acting, which allowed her to reach a wider audience and showcase her talent in a new light. Her peers often spoke of her ability to connect with the audience, whether through a heartfelt song or a compelling character on screen. Critics praised her for performances that brought depth and authenticity to her roles, particularly in the show that became a hit in the 1950s. This show not only highlighted her singing prowess, but also her skill as a host and actress, earning her praise from both audiences and fellow artists. Collaborators reflected on her work ethic and dedication, noting that she brought a unique energy to the set that inspired everyone around her. Her ability to draw viewers into the story, making them feel a part of the world she helped create, was a testament to her talent. The actress's career was marked by these pivotal moments, each contributing to a legacy that continues to influence and inspire. Her journey in the industry remains a topic of discussion and admiration among those who had the pleasure of working with her and those who enjoyed her work from afar. Her achievements in both music and television are celebrated, illustrating the breadth of her skills and the lasting impression she left on the world of entertainment. The 1950s were a significant period in the actress's career. She won several awards during this time. In 1951, she received an Emmy Award for Outstanding Television Personality. This was the first of four Emmy Awards she would win in her career. The following year, she won the award again, cementing her status as a talented television personality. In 1955, the actress was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This recognition was a testament to her contributions to the entertainment industry and solidified her place in Hollywood history. That same year, she won her third Emmy Award for Outstanding Personality. Throughout her lifetime, the actress received numerous accolades. She won a total of four Emmy Awards, three of which were for Outstanding Television Personality. In addition, she received a Golden Globe Award for Best TV Star Female in 1956. She was also inducted into the Television Hall of Fame in 1983. The actress's talent extended beyond television. She was also a successful singer and released several albums throughout her career. In 1952, she won a gold record for her album Dinah Shore Sings. She also received a Grammy Award nomination for Best Female Vocal Performance in 1960 for her album Bouquet of Blues. In conclusion, the actress had a successful career that spanned several decades. She received numerous awards and honors, including four Emmy Awards, a Golden Globe Award, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Her talent as a singer was also recognized with a gold record and a Grammy Award nomination. The actress, Dinah Shore, was known for her unique artistic vision and process. She had a natural ability to connect with her audience, which was reflected in her warm and inviting on-screen presence. Shore's approach to acting was characterized by her attention to detail and her commitment to authenticity. She once said, I've always believed that if you're going to do something, you should do it with your whole heart and soul. Shore's personal experiences and worldview were also reflected in her work. Growing up during the Great Depression, she developed a deep appreciation for the simple pleasures in life. This appreciation was evident in her portrayal of down-to-earth characters who embodied strength, resilience, and grace. In addition to her acting, Shore was also a talented singer and recording artist. She often incorporated music into her performances, using it as a way to express emotion and deepen her connection with the audience. Shore's love of music was influenced by her Southern upbringing, and she often drew inspiration from the hymns and spirituals she heard as a child. Shore's artistic process was deeply intuitive and spontaneous. She once said, I don't plan things. I don't think about them. I just do them. This approach allowed her to tap into her emotions and deliver authentic, heartfelt performances. Shore's ability to connect with her audience on a deep, emotional level was one of the key factors that set her apart from her peers. Despite her success, Shore remained humble and grounded throughout her career. She was known for her kindness, generosity, and sense of humor, and she was deeply respected and admired by her colleagues in the entertainment industry. Shore's legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and performers today, 
and her unique style and approach to acting remain a testament to her enduring talent and creativity. After her passing, the actress's remains were divided and interred in two different locations, Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Cathedral City, near Palm Springs, California, and Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, California. The actress left an indelible mark on the world of golf, earning her a place in the World Golf Hall of Fame in 1994. Her love for the sport was well known, and she was a regular presence at golf tournaments. As a trailblazer in the entertainment industry, the actress was the first female star to have her own primetime TV variety show. She broke barriers and paved the way for future generations of female entertainers. Her show was a popular and critically acclaimed success, showcasing her talent and versatility as a performer. Throughout her career, the actress was a significant figure in entertainment known for her warm voice and charming screen presence. She helped shape early television, bringing a sense of grace and friendliness to the medium. Her shows were a blend of music, comedy, and interviews, setting a standard for variety shows that followed. Experts in the field often cite her natural ability to connect with the audience, making her a beloved host and a pioneer for women in television. Those who worked with her admired her professionalism and dedication, which inspired many to pursue careers in the industry. Her influence extended beyond her own performances as she encouraged new talents and showcased their work, giving them a platform to reach wider audiences. The actress's approach to storytelling was genuine and heartfelt, which resonated with viewers and created a lasting bond. Her legacy in the industry is evident in the way variety shows are crafted today, focusing on connection, and entertainment that feels personal and inclusive. After finding success in the entertainment industry, the actress adopted the professional name Dinah, inspired by a beloved song title. During World War II, she made history as the first entertainer to visit American soldiers on the front lines, earning the Yuzo Medallion Award for her service. In 2009, the United States Postal Service honored Dinah by featuring her show on a commemorative postage stamp, part of the early TV Memories Collection. The series recognized other iconic programs such as I Love Lucy, The Honeymooners, and The Ed Sullivan Show. The Dinah Shore Show, which aired from 1951 to 1963, showcased the actress's musical talents and charisma, endearing her to audiences nationwide. Throughout her career, Dinah left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry, proving herself as a gifted singer and actress. Her contributions continue to resonate with fans, both old and new, solidifying her place as a beloved figure in television history. The actress, known for her warm and infectious personality on screen, led a private life that was equally admirable. She was a devoted wife and mother, placing great importance on family values. Her love for her children was evident in her actions and words, often stating that they were her greatest accomplishment. In addition to her family, the actress had a deep passion for gardening. She found solace in tending to her flowers and plants, often spending hours outside in her garden. This love for nature was reflected in her home decor, which featured many floral arrangements and natural elements. The actress was also known for her philanthropic efforts. She was particularly passionate about children's charities and worked tirelessly to raise awareness and funds for various organizations. She believed that every child deserved a happy and healthy childhood, and she dedicated much of her time and resources to making this a reality for as many children as possible. One of her most notable philanthropic achievements was the establishment of the Dinah Shore Golf Tournament, which raised millions of dollars for cancer research. The actress was a lifelong advocate for cancer awareness and prevention, having lost several family members to the disease. She saw the golf tournament as a way to honor their memories while also making a difference in the lives of others. Despite her many accomplishments, the actress remained humble and down to earth. She never forgot where she came from and was always grateful for the opportunities that came her way. Her kindness and generosity were an inspiration to all who knew her, and her legacy continues to live on through her work and philanthropic efforts. In the 1970s, both Lucille Ball and Carol Burnett made appearances on the actress's talk show. Carol later acknowledged that the actress had provided her with numerous job opportunities when others were reluctant to hire her. The actress's contributions to television were recognized in 1957 when she received the prestigious Peabody Award for the Dinah Shore Show. As a member of the Alpha Epsilon Phi sorority, 
The actress was actively involved in campus life during her college years. The actress Dinah Shore left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. She began her career in the 1940s, gracing the silver screen with her radiant charm and talent. Shore's career spanned over four decades, during which she captivated audiences with her wit, grace, and versatility. Shore's contributions to the industry extend beyond her on-screen performances. She was a trailblazer for women in the entertainment industry, using her platform to advocate for equal rights and opportunities for women. Shore was also a talented singer and recorded several hit songs throughout her career. For aspiring professionals in the entertainment industry, Shore offered the following advice you have to have a tough skin, but you also have to be open to constructive criticism. Always be true to yourself and never compromise your values for the sake of success. Shore believed that success was not just about achieving fame and fortune, but about making a positive impact on the world. She once said, I've always believed that if you put in the work, the success will come. But it's not just about the success, it's about what you do with that success. As for the future of the entertainment industry, Shore believed that it was essential for aspiring professionals to be adaptable and open to change. The industry is constantly evolving, and you have to be willing to evolve with it, she said. Don't be afraid to take risks and try new things. That's how you grow and succeed in this business. In conclusion, Dinah Shore's legacy within the entertainment industry is one of grace, talent, and advocacy. Her advice to aspiring professionals is as relevant today as it was during her career. By staying true to oneself, being open to constructive criticism, and being willing to adapt and evolve, anyone can make a positive impact in the entertainment industry and beyond. Furthermore, the actress's talents were recognized with three stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, highlighting her contributions across multiple entertainment mediums. Her voice graced the airwaves, her presence was felt on the small screen, and her musical prowess was immortalized in recordings. These accolades are a testament to her versatility and enduring appeal. In a nod to the golden age of television, the U.S. Postal Service commemorated the Dinah Shore show among other classic TV programs with a special postage stamp. This recognition served as a tribute to the show's impact on American entertainment and its place in television history. The actress also showcased her vocal talent in the album for Call Me Madam, stepping in for Ethel Merman. Her rendition of the songs allowed the music to reach audiences in a new way, ensuring the show's melodies would continue to resonate with listeners. This move demonstrated her adaptability and dedication to her craft, making her a beloved figure in the world of entertainment. The actress, Dinah Shore, began her journey in the entertainment industry with a fervor for singing. She soon transitioned to acting, showcasing her versatility in both film and television. Her innovative spirit led her to host her own talk show, Dinah's Place, which became a beloved staple of daytime television. Throughout her career, the actress remained dedicated to her craft constantly pushing boundaries and exploring new opportunities. She left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry with her work resonating across generations. The actress's enduring impact is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her ability to adapt and evolve in an ever-changing industry is a source of inspiration for aspiring artists and a reminder of the importance of staying true to one's passions. Indeed, the actress's journey serves as a powerful reminder that with hard work and dedication, anyone can leave their mark on the world and make a lasting impact. The gorgeous prairie-style home of the actress in Palm Springs, California, is now a highly sought weekend rental property. This expensive getaway comes with the services of a cook and a maid offering a touch of luxury. In 2009, the U.S. Postal Service honored the actress with a 44 cents commemorative postage stamp issued on a Tuesday in August as part of the early TV memory series. The stamp features the Dinah Shore Show, which aired in 1951. The actress became a mother in January 1948, giving birth to her daughter, Melissa Ann, also known as Melissa Montgomery. Later, she expanded her family by adopting her son, John Jody David Montgomery. The actress, known for her work in film and television, was a registered Republican earlier in her career. However, she later switched her political affiliation to Democrat under the influence of Ronald Reagan, a former Democrat. Despite their differing political views, the actress and Reagan remained close friends. 
In fact, according to the actress's close friend Marion Tattashore, the actress numbered the Reagans among her friends and was their guest at the White House. In addition to her political activism, the actress was also known for her long love affair with Burt Reynolds, who was 20 years her junior. The actress has also been commemorated in the naming of Dinah Shore Drive, which spans the cities of Rancho Mirage and Cathedral City near Palm Springs, California. This tribute serves as a lasting reminder of the actress's contributions to the entertainment industry and her impact on the community. The parents of the actress were Russian-born Jews, with her father establishing a successful dry goods business in Tennessee. During her career, the New York Times Magazine listed her among the many artists who lost their material in the 2008 Universal Studios fire. As the end credits roll in the film, the audience is treated to the actress's rendition of I'll Be Seeing You. It is worth noting that she and Burt Reynolds were a couple during that time. Dinah Shore Boulevard in Winchester, Tennessee stands as a tribute to the actress in her hometown. Before gaining fame, she hosted NBC Radio's Birdseye Open House from 1943 to 1946. In the 1977 film of God, the actress played herself, interviewing the fictional character Jerry Landers. The original plan was for Landers to appear on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, but when Carson declined due to a potential conflict of interest, the script was rewritten to feature the actress instead. The film and television career of the actress, Dinah Shore, was marked by numerous achievements and accolades. However, a tragic event occurred in her personal life. She was married to actor George Montgomery for eight years, and the couple had one child together. Unfortunately, their marriage ended in divorce in 1962. Just two years later, in 1964, the actress married Morris Smith, a former vice president of the Studebaker Automobile Company. Sadly, their marriage was short-lived, as Smith passed away from lung cancer only 16 months after their wedding. The actress was devastated by his death and never remarried. Throughout her career, the actress was known for her warm and friendly personality as well as her talent for singing and acting. She hosted several popular television shows, including the Dinah Shore Chevy Show and Dinah's Place. She also appeared in numerous films, including Belle of the Yukon, Tadich's Story, and Lower Bay. Despite the tragedy she experienced in her personal life, the actress continued to work in film and television, bringing joy and entertainment to millions of viewers around the world. Her legacy as a talented and beloved performer continues to this day. After watching the actress's work, you might have noticed her undeniable charm and talent. Dinah Shore, known for her roles in films like Bella the Yukon, until the clouds roll by, left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her legacy extends beyond the big screen, as she also made a name for herself in television and music. The actress's work in the Dinah Shore show showcased her wit and charisma, making her a beloved figure in American households. Her contributions to the entertainment industry are still celebrated today, as her work continues to resonate with audiences. Shore's impact transcended the realm of entertainment, as she was also known for her activism and philanthropy. She was a trailblazer in many ways, breaking barriers and paving the way for future generations of entertainers. Now that you've had the chance to experience the actress's work, we'd love to hear your thoughts. What did you think of her performances? Did any particular role or song stand out to you? Share your reflections in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe for more celebrations of the creative spirits shaping entertainment. Together, let's continue to honor the legacies of the artists who have shaped the entertainment landscape.